Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the JF17 Thunder and we're looking at cold start. So without further ado, let's get going. We're going to go battery on, AC generator on, DC generator on, AAP, combat, intercom, on, volumes, as required, but in this case I'm just going to turn them all up to max. Morning. We are Warning. just going to silence the master arm, which is currently flashing. Press Warning. it once. Next to the engine start. I'm going to zoom in. Start pump. On. Engine control. On. Next, we're going to move the throttle to idle. And if we can find around here, you can see my cursor goes green. I'm going to press that there. Left click. Ping. And we've now got a throttle out of stop and into idle. So into idle position. We're now going to press and hold ground start switch here for four seconds. So push and one and two and three and four and hold let that start up next in phase i'm going to get my ecs going because it's quite important to have this set ecs over here to normal make sure that everything keeps nice and cool next we're going to epi1 left mfd lower half ping we see our engine spooling up now now because it's going to get loud we're going to do the canopy so I'm going to do oxygen before canopy to make sure I don't forget. Turn on oxygen supply and connect oxygen tube. Left click canopy close. Wait until it's finished. Left click again. Canopy seal. Next Shah's navigation and emergency hydraulics. On. Next right MFD and EFIS. Next, we're going to turn our HUD brightness up. UFC brightness up. And the HUD will come online. Next, we need to enter our lat, our long, and our altitude into the UFC. We could do this manually. Press right shift and kilo. You can see our current actual lat, long, and altitude here. To enter them, we would click on an arrow there. Enter the number via the numpad, and then click the arrow again to accept. Or we can do this automatically from the ground crew. If we press the communications button, we get options at the top right here. If we press ground crew, and if we press update INS aligned data, and get parking coward, watch what happens. Coordinates ready. Automatically entered. Before we get rid of our knee pad, just note our true heading, in this case, of 309 degrees. Right shift and kilo to get rid of the knee pad. Next, we need to start our alignment. So, on our INS knob here, right click to fast align. We ha then have just a few seconds to enter our true heading. We're going to click on this arrow here. Enter, in this case, 309. We now have 40 seconds to perform the alignment. While that's counting down, I'm just going to get some other things done. A radio to transmit receive or transmit receive and guard and that's what I'm going to be doing in this case waiting to count down to zero and we're done flashing and we're going to go into INS nav that's our navigation aligned and set next we'd like to rearm the aircraft and enter the DTC the data cartridge into the aircraft to copy the weapons data over so rearm button and you would arm however you want to arm in this case we'll just arm completely naked Next, we actually need to open our canopy up again, so we're going to go right click, right click, right click, let it open. Next, comms menu button, and just in case you don't know the buttons, that is the comms menu, that is the rearm button. Comms menu, and ground crew up on the top right, and update DTC data. Update data. Copy. Updating the DTC now. DTC update complete. Next, we need to enter our DTC cartridge. It's Warning. hard to see, but that little panel there, I'm going to left click once. Warning. And I'm going to left click twice. Warning. Now we're going to reseal the canopy. Left close. Warning. Left close again. Warning. Warning. Left seal. Check left MFD. DTC locked. Next, left MFD. All. Enter. Loading the data cartridge. Wait now until it's DT DTC locked again, which may take a few seconds. DTC locked. Next. Config. Now this is going to depend on our current loadout, whether we've got bombs, whether we've got air-to-air -air missiles, whether we've got fuel tanks and so on. Currently I'm unloaded, so I'm going to just stick on a basic air-to-air -air configuration. 
Parking brake to uh, norm thing. Arm the ejection seat with safe to armed. And pull the remove. Right console lighting as you want it, however you want it. Your taxi light would be there if you wanted it. Checks fire, FCS and master all out. Check for indicators and warning lights all out. All we need now is our nose wheel steering. That guy there. Advance the throttle slowly. Nose wheel steering on, you can see indicated here. Keep under about 20 knots. Wheel brake if needed. And taxi to runway. That's all to show. Hope you enjoyed that. See you later.